whether they come from the classroom or they're coming straight from lunch, like there's there's germs. Stephanie Valdez is a mother of three school-aged children. Like most moms, she has concerns about the coronavirus and is paying close attention to advice being offered by experts. You want to have good hand washing and not, you know, a you have to do 20 seconds of hand washing. In Southern Nevada, the Clark County School District last week issued an advisory from the Health District, which stressed the importance of hand washing with soap and water. However, Stephanie and other parents have learned that's not happening at their children's school. They're coming from the computer lab. They're, they have shared workspaces. Um, they're playing on the monkey bars. They're, you know, doing things and they're touching stuff and then going straight to eating. In fact, Stephanie says at her kids' school, the children go straight from recess to the lunchroom. No time is offered for hand washing. Lila Warren is another concerned parent. If they had some hand sanitized stations, just little those little, you know, dispensers that they could put up on the walls. CCSD declined our request for an interview for this story, but said each school handles hygiene and sanitation on an individual basis. Some campuses, they say, have installed sanitizers. For Stephanie, that answer just isn't good enough, especially considering how many hours her children spend at school and how vulnerable they can be to illness. I feel like they're not taking ownership and responsibility of making a policy in place, build that in to the lunch schedule yeah. if you have to, because you can't expect kids to do it on their own. Yeah, unfortunately, it appears that much of the prevention responsibility, at least where the school district is concerned, is going to uh, be squared placely on the uh, parents. Uh, many of the parents, in fact, have started adding uh, sanitizer gel and wipes like these in their kids' backpacks. But here again, the experts say sanitizer is not a good replacement and certainly not as effective as soap and water. We'll stay on this story, let you know if the district uh, decides to respond or if, in fact, they have any changes to their policy. Gerard Ramal reporting live, News 3. All right. It would be nice for them to step up and answer these parents' concerns. Thanks for finding out what you could despite.